Well, let's continue now our special coverage of this year's Shanghai Auto Show, an important event for global car makers who are increasingly looking to China. Our reporter Zhou Yun discovers how some of these companies plan to tap into the world's largest auto market. Hi, China. Well, it is not hard to understand that why global automakers are paying so much attention to China in the previous years. Chinese people are getting wealthy. Most of them do not yet own a car, and the labor cost in the country is pretty cheap. But the situation has changed, and China has already become the world's largest market with more cars than ever are running on the roads. So, why still China? What are global automakers see in this country, and are they still confident about the future of China's auto sector? 58 cars. That's the number of cars owned by per 1,000 Chinese currently. Each figure tells a story, and the story told by this figure is probably the vast room and potential business opportunities for the further growth of China's auto sector. Or, in other words, it's still all about market. Experts say the phasing out of preferential purchasing policies, introduction of vehicle purchase restrictions, the cost of oil rising, and the impact left by Japan's earthquake all make selling cars in China more challenging. But even so, the majority of Chinese consumers' desire for buying. Cars will not be dampened. Chinese have a long cherished dream of owning a car. When Chinese people get wealthier, many of them usually spend big in two ways: buying a house or purchasing a car. But with the housing price skyrocketing, buying a car has become the ultimate option for a large number of people to improve the quality of their lives. Xiong is not alone in his optimism in China's auto sector. Many believe the Chinese market is still far from overcapacity and sit it at the most lucrative market in the world. Some automakers are even planning to localize their production in China. China is the biggest market on earth. China is important for us, and therefore we want to also produce in China. I guess we can offer a lot. The latest product technology. Latest material technology, latest production uh,、um, technology. So overall, I guess we are a very interesting partner. But experts have a word of caution. They say that China's auto sector is not likely to repeat explosive growth seen in the past years. Instead, they say 10 to 15 percent growth target for industry in 2011 is more realistic. Zhou Yunbaifan, CCTV, the Shanghai Auto Show.